Heroes Acre, we discover that we have important features that we see when we arrive at Heroes Acre. There is a tomb of a non-soldier. At the Heroes Acre, we also discover that we have got men who fought during the liberation struggle, who are buried at this wonderful site. And we also have got women who also played a part during the liberation struggle. They are also buried at this national site, the Heroes Acre. The Heroes Acre is important in the sense that it recognizes all the liberation war heroes who played an active part during the liberation struggle. We have got people like Josiah Tongogara. We have got people like Joshua Mkawugongkomo, a man who played a pivotal role in the liberation struggle. We also have got Herbert Chitepo playing also an important part during the liberation struggle. We also have Jason Ziapapamoyo. We also have got Leprod Takawira. One of, the, one of the people also buried here at the National Shrine. These gallant sons of the soil, they played an active part during the liberation struggle. They formed the ANC, later on forming the Zebra and Zanla. The country when it attained the independence in 1980, they decided to build this shrine so that they could recognize these sons of the soils who played an active part in the liberation struggle. There are also women who are buried at this national shrine, such as Salim Mugabe, Amai Nkomo, the wife of Joshua Mkabogo Nkomo. We also have got Amai Zobgo, the wife of uh, Edson Jobgo. Amai Chitepo, Victoria Chitepo. We also have people who played a part after we attained our independence in 1980. These people, because of their roles that they played after 1980, they were buried here at the National Shrine. This Heroes Acre, it is meant for all Zimbabwean citizens, all Zimbabwean people. It's not restricted only to the Ndebeles or to the Shonas, but all the people who played an active part, they are recognized and they are buried at this National Shrine.